I made it just in time. So I've been hearing a lot of a lot of rumors saying this Greninja dude has been using Sonic and got nice with him. Farming brackets. He went to the two the whatever Westchester locals on Tuesdays. He got like top three. So now I have to see how the Sonic goes against Noku. Cause I believe his Sonic made an upset to uh to G Extreme today. Alright, Noku the Chista already tried to cheese his stock. Down throw mix up. Oh no DI and actually gives him the homie DI for it. Alright, that bring. I mean I mean the spring. I was lying. Ooh, the quick turnaround back here? He might get robbed for this. But Noko goes for the safe near instead. Alright, doesn't go for the Flare Blitz. He's saving that. He's saving that for like a later start. But his Sonic's been... Alright, I, I he got a Sonic. I believe in the, cr the, the cringe Sonic. Actually, no. He got to take the game first, and then I'll start believing the Sonic. Wild upbeat call off from Noku. Is he going to edge guard him? Ooh. Beautiful air dodge reef from Noku. Instead of him just like going for the immediate dare, like a fiend, he actually waited for the all for all of Kreninja's resources to waste right there. Bullet seed. Hold up. Either my man has been doing homework since he got PR'd. Oh, that was a mean misinfo. You almost never see Ivy Stars go for that. Even Quid don't even go for that sometimes. All right, Nair not good enough yet. Charizard adding a bit more weight, giving him a little bit of survivability. Bro, nah, actually takes the bait instead. Might cost him the stock for this edge guard right here. Again, tries to go for the Smash 4 roll read. But this time Nick gets the roll and almost cheeses him with a back air. As I say it, throws him across the stage. And Alright now nah, we're going right back to the spring. And this is where the neutral starts playing as soon as both of them go back to the stage. Wow. Actually not being scared, the up throw is not gonna do it on Charizard. A bit too fat for that. Back here. Oh he had it. He had the right idea and the position for it, but he didn't believe. Alright, this is the game of patience at this point. Even Charizard's job is about to kill him with max rage. Green Ninja has to be careful on these recoveries because just like that, Nick just keeps exploiting him for it. He went off stage while Ivy Store contested his drift, called out all of his resources, and then with the Charizard, he just took he just stood on stage, just patiently waiting for him to come back. And right now, Greninja looks like he's thinking about life. Like, damn, bro, like, the Sonic A kind of? But it is Nick, though. Like, his Sonic, is, his Sonic is good. He might stick with it, because I don't think Joker is going to come out against Nick. Yeah, he's just going to confidently stick with the Sonic. Give him stuff some confidence from the other locals that he, you know, that he topped at. Nick looking wild easy right now. Yo, shout outs for the Brawl community for the music. I haven't heard this song in a minute. This is the Battlefield version. Now, this is kind of interesting to me because from the sets that I've been seeing, Nick kind of seems to struggle on FD. Like, like his Squirtle is going to be really good at with punishing, baiting shit out, and then... But as soon as he's in the air, that's when you really start to see how Nick really is as a human being. And this is also, and this is also a good Sonic stage. Beautiful charge down smash, knowing that if Sonic misses, he's completely lack, um, he, he completely has lag in that entire move. Unless Sonic hits your shield. All right, 
Okay, no, doesn't go for the spring edge guard. He just wants to obliterate him with a forward smash. Oh my god, nice up here from, from Noku. Now, I was talking to my, uh, some of my boys the other day on, like, because every PT has a signature Pokemon, right? Everyone in the community knows that Quiz is, like, Ivy Store for his signature. Even, like, his Twitter has the name of it. And Noku, I'm trying to figure it out, like, what his main signature is with the Pokemon. In my, in my opinion, I think his Squirtle is, like, the best one out of the three that he has. And his Charizard is definitely not up here. And then his Ivy Sir is just Mr. Cheese. Yeah, goes for the down throw mix up to ooh, just gonna straight waterfall. Ooh. And this is what I mean, like his Squirtle, his Squirtle's better uh, at less trapping than his Ivy Sir is. Literally, his Ivy Sir is just good for edge guarding, as almost every PT Ivy Sir should be. And now we go for the extra cheese. 73% and was like, nah, you're at death percent now. Spring? Oh my god, Kreninja wants to end this man now. Back air read. Nah, goes for another forward here. And Nick challenging him at the right time. Sonic's forward here is pretty good. Um, not, I feel like not too many Sonics utilize that out of shield and it throws a lot of people off. But it's actually pretty good against characters that are like midway, heavy characters. And I feel like, oh! Never mind. I was fine. But he's up, he still got a bad up here though. Small throw, gets some off stage. Spring cancels. No, goes for another immediate forward here. And Nick is not having it. He's just gonna contest challenging it every time. All right, good usage of Charizard's uh, upbeat. Got a little bit of armor and not being threatened by the spring at all. Right, Mordor is gonna come out, I bet. Oh, barely jumps over that hitbox. Back here. Nah, he's waiting for something. Hey, hey, as I say, a backer comes out anyway. Now Charizard with max rage yet again. Goes for the forward tilt. He don't even want to throw combo. He's like, nah. I'm just gonna go for cheese. Hope that you pray. Hope that you panic, and just takes the rest of the set. And I just realized this is winner's semi, so this is mainly a best of three. This is potentially Kreninja's last chance, unless his Sonic does some insane play. He's gonna have to get through Nick's portal in order for him to beat him in this game. Because Kreninja's been doing okay against the Ivy Store. The Charizard is a little shaky. Because Kreninja doesn't seem a little confident when it comes to punishing Charizard correctly. But Squirtle, that's going to be a hard mode to get out the way. Squirtle, like, you might be faster than me with your Nikes and all, but I got the frame data. Oh, my God. What a brave change from Noku. It actually gets away with it? The down air? Oh, now this is Kreninja's chance. He's Ivy Store. Whip up. No, just waits for it. Good patience. You almost never see Sonic walk. That's actually wild. No, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. He already jumped as soon as that side B came out. That was it. And both players dabbing it out, and Nick is just gonna steal that side. Yo, you don't even have an Ivy Store, bro. I like the fact that in Smash, you see, like, like, Sakurai makes the Pokemons look mad big. Like, what was that? I think it was Squirtle. They, like, when you, whenever you see Squirtle as the windscreen, like, Squirtle is, like, half your body weight. And it's, like, that's not how tall Squirtle really is. Just wanted to throw that out there as a meme. <laughs> 